Hi, I'm Paul Lisnick, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. In these days of difficult economies, imagine non-for-profit organizations trying to get things done with such low budgets and difficulty raising money. Well, there's one cooperative out there that's actually helping them make life a little bit easier. Meet my next guest. He is David McConnell, the board chair for Back Office Cooperative. David, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Paul. And as I open this segment, uh, was that fair enough? Things are pretty tough for nonprofits these days. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough and getting tougher, Paul. And so you are part of a group, a cooperative, mm -hmm. that essentially um, helps other nonprofits make life a little easier. Talk about how you do that. All right. Well, the, the, co the core purpose of the back office cooperative and the sole purpose we were founded was to save money for nonprofits. It all focuses in on that. Um, we just celebrated our fifth anniversary. We have now just passed the five million dollar mark in saving money for nonprofits here in the city. Um, we have six founding members, as well as a total membership of around 30 organizations. So six helping. founding members, which, is, which essentially started this cooperative, other members joining. Let's talk about some of the ways in which you save money. There's certain areas you're able to assist, and, and which, of course, which every organization needs. Uh, just as an example, let me talk about accounting and finance work, because every nonprofit has to deal with those issues. Right. Every nonprofit does, and we have six organizations that have banded together and are um, having um, their accounting services done for them on an outsourced basis, we're generally saving between 30 and 40 percent of what they previously spent on those on that work. How are you doing? Is this because it's, is it a bulk purchase kind of a thing? What's your, what's the leverage? Well, some of the some of it is definitely bulk purchasing, both that we do ourselves. Um, we combine, for example, all of our custodial services amongst a number of those organizations, bid them out, um, and we're able to save 30 to 40 percent in that area as well. Um, in our case at One Hope United, we didn't even have to change vendors and custodial services to save that kind of money. And of course, what we, we've just done, a couple of things. First of all, custodial services is another area right. in which you're able to save some of your members. Uh, and you also mentioned the organization you work for. So it's not that you are uh, you are a part of Back Office Cooperative, but you yourself work for a nonprofit that then is one of the organizations that is taking right. advantage of all right. of this. Right, exactly. The six of the six nonprofits in the city now own the Back Office Cooperative. We're not making any money off of owning it. We're making money off of the, the savings that we get from it. And, and, of course, I was going to ask you about that. How do you make your money? So is it is it about taking sort of a percentage, almost a commission off of the contracts and things that get signed? That's a great way to put it. We get a small commission between 2 to 5% of what the organizations spend. After that, they save 20 to 60%, depending on, on the type of service. Fair enough to call that a win-win. Oh, it, it's, it's definitely a win-win all the way around for... Um, we, we have vendors who are willing to, to give us those price breaks, and they obviously are still making money. Yeah, I was going to say another area, in addition to the custodial service, the accounting, the finance, but of course every organization has the needs for the, the FedExes and the UPSs and the telecom and all these kinds of services. Exactly. Do you have a leveraging and buying power in that world? Yes, we do. What we've done is found a, a group purchasing organization um, that focuses primarily in the healthcare arena that spends roughly $6 billion a year we're able to leverage their purchasing power to buy things like office supplies, um, teleconference services, delivery services, things of that nature. Um, we have a wide variety of services available for them and people can pick and choose the areas they need to save money. So if a not-for-profit is watching us right now and said, I gotta be a part of this, how do they get in touch with you? Um, they can go to our website at the backofficecoop.com and, and check it out there. There'll be uh, there's uh, testimonies that testimonials that have come in from yeah. organizations. Um, they'll get you the contact information for our our right. sourcing so it manager. Is a, if you're not for profit, join in. If you're a non for profit, sign up today. Thank you, sir. My guest was David McConnell, board chair for Back Office Cooperative. I'm Paul Lisnick. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Bye bye.